Okay. I had not planned on ever actually really doing any Black Clover manga reviews. Um, but this latest chapter was just too hype not to talk about, okay? Oh my god. Epic. Oh man, this. This is a Black Clover chapter that we need more of. This was freaking hype. Even more hype than the new chapter of My Hero, featuring my girl Toga. Oh, boy. So, <clears throat> the last time we was in Black Clover, Asta was getting ready to fight off against his inner devil. And, um, basically, he knocked, told him that if he failed, then he would pretty much die and lose his body to the devil. But then Asta's like, you know, just because you're a devil doesn't make you a bad guy. And then there's this panel next to him where it shows what people are assuming to be Asta's mother. And then the devil's like, shit. Because it was somebody he knew from his past. So, unless Tabata does something with the girl that uh, Le, Lechita, I think that's how you say her name, Lechita. Unless he does something with how she sealed the devil into the grimoire, it pretty much rules out that that is Asta's mother. Um, yeah, this, this could be a game changer for sure. But when the chapter starts off, we see the devil, Asta's devil, giving a narrative of what the underworld is like. And he's basically like, you know, when the underworld, when you're in the underworld, everything's a set order. You know, if you're born low, you're going to stay low and you can't change it. Uh, the higher ups bully the lower devils and the lower devils bully the ones below them. And we find out that his devil, like him, does not have any magic. And so, not having magic put him at the very bottom of the packing order. And as a result, he says he was beaten and tormented pretty much every day. And that one day, he was thrown at the gate and he assumed he was going to die. And he said that the best thing anybody can do... For fun is to torment humans so they're always trying to get to the human world and since he didn't have any magic he wound up on the other side in the human world and so everybody sees him start slipping out you know he's a devil they think he's gonna get cursed so his magic knights come up and try to kill him he manages to escape and when he passes out he wakes up and he is in this uh, lady's cabin the Lachita lady um, which up until this point we uh, had a suspicion was Asta's mother. That no longer seems to be the case. Because she tells us that she has the ability, or if you want to call it a curse, to drain the life and magic from anything she's around. Sounds a lot like Henry to me. But then she shows this uh, little tube that looks like kind of like a Mafuba jar from Dragon Ball. And then she tells him that she's able to seal things away in there using her magic if it doesn't have any mana or life. So that's why she brought firewood and this devil. And, uh, you know, it's kind of, in a, its own way, like similar to, to Nero's ability to be able to seal stuff. Um, but this is more for transportation than locking things away though we do see her do that at the end of the chapter uh anyways she explains that's why she lives out in the middle of nowhere doesn't have any friends or anything and so she asks this devil to become her son and it doesn't specify the time skip but it shows the two of them going about day by day just enjoying life with one another and as a result 
they become really close. And she starts calling this uh, devil by the name of Libe. Libe. I'm going to go with Libe until I hear otherwise. But that is pretty much how this devil found his way into the world and has just been there ever since. The one day they're out just goofing around and having fun together when he gets possessed um, and it turns out to be the devil Lucifero and if we remember from our fight with Yami and um, Dante Lucifero was kind of hinted at being the top dog and even Noct said that if Lucifero breaks free the world is done but when Libe is sensing that it's Lucifero he says one of the top devils and I don't think that Tabata put that in there as a ambiguous fact okay I think that's hinting at us saying that hey now this ain't the final arc still got a lot of shit to go through and Lucifero ain't the final baddie but what I do think this is setting up is to finally give us the one thing that Black Clover has really lacked and that is a main antagonist now you can say, well, what about the elf arc, you know, and licked and all that shit and the eye of the midnight sun. And it's like, yeah, they were for a while, but once they were defeated, there was no real clear next bad guy, you know? And even them, it was the devil, you know? And you could say that the devils are technically the main villains here, but, uh, it's not like, like, for example, Bleach, you know, it's like, hey, let's go rescue Rukia and then find out that Aizen's the bad guy who then pretty much is the main focus of the series all the way up until the final arc if we're excluding all the filler stuff. You know, and, and having that cemented bad guy really helps move the story along you know it gives you an end game you know what i'm saying um so yeah having uh lucifero possibly being this main end game bad guy until we figure out who's over him i think is actually going to do wonders for black clover because we, it, it, it sells well but it doesn't sell remarkably you know, and I and I always accredited that to the fact that it doesn't have a real main antagonist. And I think that this is what is gonna be changing that. I could be wrong. Uh when they, they could go in and you know, whoop the triad's asses, but to me it feels more like we're gonna see just how useless the triad's really going to end up being you know um because at the end of the chapter the devil sees lachita standing next to asta as like the flashback of like just because you're a devil doesn't mean you're a bad guy and then you know the devil's like i all the devils are pieces of garbage and i'm going to kill them all even if i have to steal your body to do it and so he's finally getting serious. Um, let's just say, if Austin manages to find a way to tame the devil and make a pact with him, that is going to be awesome. That is going to be freaking bananas. If he can get the devil 100% power, oh my god, and he's back up with Yami, the goat. Oh, buddy. Black Clover is about to get legit, dude. I really see Black Clover maybe finally being able to take off into its own little stream of popularity. But 
one thing I find interesting is that Lucifero said that I can mess with a little weak devil anywhere, and then he kills Lachita. That was really heartbreaking, not gonna lie, that was actually really sad. But, you know, that kind of sets things up with, we know that one of the people in the triad is a contract with Lucifero, and we know that Libe has a personal vendetta against Lucifero, and Lucifero said that he will be able to come back and get him again.